What's up everybody, Nate here from Out of the Basement bringing you a brand new action figure review today from Star Wars The Black Series. We are taking a look at the Deluxe Wrecker. And yes, I did say this is a deluxe figure, even though he really doesn't come with a whole lot and just kind of falls in the category of Black Series deluxe figures that are just big so they charge more but there is some decent paint details to be had on the figure as well though so as you'll see throughout the review i think this one most likely gets a pass but anyways i'm super excited to take a look at this figure and we'll just go ahead and jump in so of course this is the brand new mural packaging you can see here the box is a little bit bigger because wrecker is a bigger character on the side of course we have the nice mural art here on the back of the box here, we of course have the logo and the bio for Wrecker, so you can pause it and read it there. We've also got a larger image of the mural art right there, more zoomed in I should say. He's number five in the line. Here's the barcode on the bottom, the smaller Black Series logo on the side. Of course, there's nothing on the top, so we're gonna go ahead, get him out of the package and take a closer look at those accessories and then the figure itself. Okay, and jumping right in, we first get a DC-17 here, which has no paint apps on it. It is a gray plastic this time. Whereas if you see like Hunter right here has more of a black plastic DC-17. So gray plastic for Wrecker for whatever reason. But of course it looks good. Looks very accurate to the blaster there. There's nice sculpted details on both sides there. We also get his large sort of like Bowie style knife here, which is missing the little vibro blade yellow bits that are actually on the blade in the animation. So that's kind of a minor nitpick there, but not the end of the world. I think it's just awesome that he came with this big old knife here and it looks great. There's some nice silver paint there and the handle is just like a gray plastic. And of course, just like in the show here, he does have weapon storage. And we also get his backpack here, which is painted this time around. So that's nice that we are getting a painted backpack. You can see the logo there right in the middle. There's also some red paint on the sides and right there down at the middle, mixed in with some blue paint there. And of course you can see there is also a bunch of sculpted scratches and dings and stuff like that. All that stuff I would love to see painted considering this is a deluxe figure, but honestly, am I surprised they're not painted? Absolutely not. But the paint that is here is appreciated for sure. And finally, we have Wrecker's helmet here, which looks absolutely fantastic. Really great paint app details on the helmet here. I think it really looks accurate to the animation. And the paint sort of does have that, like, this was hand-painted look to it as well. It doesn't quite look photo really like some paint apps end up looking. So I really do like how this turned out. I think this looks absolutely awesome. Of course you can see on the back of the helmet there's even more paint although it does get real sloppy right there but there's some more red so i mean yeah just check that out that is a fantastic looking helmet and of course it fits on wrecker's head no problem there and that looks awesome so overall we do get a decent group of accessories here although i would have 100 percent liked to see some alternate fist hands because as we all know wrecker punches stuff a lot so it is disappointing that there are no alternate hands i feel like that was a big miss on hasbro's part and of course the minor nitpick of the knife not having the yellow vibro blade marks like hunter's knife has but now let's go ahead and take a look at the figure all right and here is deluxe wrecker out of the packaging and you can see that this figure looks absolutely fantastic I don't think anyone is really surprised. The other Bad Batch figures have been great as well. So really Wrecker coming up here and being as awesome as he is, is really no surprise, at least to me. So you can see there are some really nice paint app details throughout the figure. You do get the photo reel head. It does have some sculpted scar work that's unpainted and there's some other minor nitpicks that I will go through with the figure as well. But I think overall, this figure is really fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead, take him off the stand and get a closer look. And starting right up here at the top with the head, you can see that it does look pretty damn awesome. I think the photoreal application is really nice. Of course it is a shiny face. It's not too bad on Wrecker, but it is still 
pretty shiny looking. And yeah, it definitely has that like more realistic Temeru Morrison look, as most of the Black Series do. They translate the figures into a more realistic look, and I think that it worked out well here, so that is awesome. And then, yeah, you can see that the Scar stuff is sculpted there, but it is not painted at all, which is a big time bummer in my opinion. I really think, considering, again, that this was a deluxe figure, they definitely should have painted that. And mine does have a nice black smudge mark on the back of his head, which is always awesome. The shoulder pads do have some really nice clean paint application here. You can see the Clone Force 99 logo, that skull there, and some really nice silver paintwork there over the gray armor. There is also some nice red trim there around Wrecker's collar. And in general, I feel like he does have a little bit more paint on him than the standard figures. It's not much, but it is there. You can definitely see there's a lot more silver to be had throughout the figure. But he does still have that really nice sculpt work there that has even more scratches and dings and dents in it that are unpainted. And again, with this being a deluxe figure, I think that they should always go all out and just put a crazy amount of paint on these figures considering the extra price. Although Wrecker was only $29.99, so the price price hike hadn't got to this figure just yet. I do think the costume does look very accurate to the animation here. This chest piece right here is a soft rubbery plastic which I think is going to be really nice once we get into the articulation there but you can see it kind of floats around and has some movement to it. You do get a trigger finger hand here and you also get a grip hand as well so you know on the back of the package it kind of shows the the f the fist punching together pose and i mean you can you kind of do it fudge it just a little bit there but of course it's still going to look awkward so that is disappointing and also that they also chose it to be the mural art just to kind of like i don't know throw it in your face a little bit like yeah you can't nail this pose because we didn't give you the right hands but i really do like the underneath suit on wrecker here there's tons of sculpted details throughout there that you can see some really nice ripples there especially behind the knees and then we get some more red paint here around on the shins and there is some more silver throughout as well you can see reflecting there and then on the sheath here we do actually do have a couple paint app details there which is pretty nice yeah overall i think you know there is more paint than a normal black series figure on wrecker it's still not a lot and there's definitely some areas that absolutely should have been painted like the scar on the side of his head but otherwise i think they absolutely nailed the details of wrecker here so now let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation and even though he is a larger figure here the articulation is on par with the other bad batch figures which is just absolutely fantastic i'm so happy that they were able to pack it all in even on a larger figure here so for the head here wrecker can look up very far he's got the double neck joint there looking down is pretty good as well of course you do get head tilt there of course the head can rotate around and it's perfect for wrecker because you really do want to have those attitude like poses and then for those curious with the helmet on here really the articulation is not that much different of course it's a little less tilt there and you kind of got to work it around the collar it does like to snag the helmet can get caught there so you just gotta you know push it in there a little bit but it's really not hindered at all and that is just fantastic there so the arms here can move out very far the arm does rotate all the way around although you got to work it around the shoulder pad there but you can see you can get it to go and Wrecker does have butterfly joints as well so that is fantastic this one feels kind of frozen and maybe they're both frozen uh, but the joints are in there might just need a little hot water to get those going do get a single jointed elbow here that gives you a little bit more than 90 degrees of course you do get rotation at that elbow for the trigger finger it does rotate around and you do also get the vertical hinge which is fantastic of course all trigger finger hands should have that joint it's simple for the gripping hand though of course it rotates and has the horizontal hinge which again is fine for a gripping hand trigger finger hands vertical hinges always for the ab crunch here going forward you actually do get a decent range there for a black series figure and going back is pretty decent as well wow you usually don't see that kind of movement 
in the ab range on black series so that's nice uh, we do get some side to side here which again is really nice range i think it's really because of this soft plastic piece for the chest armor here it's really giving him some great motion there so that is really nice and of course you do get twist there as well so yeah i mean already wrecker's articulation fantastic especially for such a bigger figure for the leg it can kick out this far we do also get these splits here pretty nice range of motion kicking back that's about what you're looking at up close here we do have a thigh swivel which is expertly hidden by the armor very nice and we do get a single jointed elbow and <laughs> the knee pad is still glued to the wrong part of the leg they really need to fix this i feel like it's such an easy fix you know you just take this off and you glue it right here seems pretty simple to me but uh, that is a little disappointing of course we've all been experiencing this on many of the new black series figures but despite that we do get some swivel there at the knee as well and then moving down to the feet we do get some really fantastic range there all the way down and then going up is a very decent range as well so yeah again articulation wise ooh, it's so nice and you can see you could definitely get Wrecker into some really nice firing poses. Holding the gun with both hands is not a problem. Making it look like he's aiming down the sights isn't either. So, oh yeah, I'm just so happy with how Wrecker has turned out. Again, despite the few nitpicks. So now we're going to show you how he scales. Since he is a larger character, he needs to be larger than the other members of the Bad Batch and some clones and stuff. So we're going to compare him to a ton of Black Series figures. So go ahead, straighten him out, put him right here, and then let's do some comparisons. First up here with the other members of the Bad Batch that I already have, we've got Hunter and Crosshair. And that looks pretty damn good, especially Hunter. Hunter looks absolutely tiny compared to Wrecker. So yeah, I think the uh, scale here is pretty nice. We've got some other Bad Batch figures here. Of course, these are the Elite Squad Troopers. Then we have the 332nd Clone Trooper from Walmart. That is, of course, the 2020 Clone Trooper body there. And then, of course, pre-Bad Batch, Arc Trooper Echo. Moving on here, we've got Captain Rex and, of course, a plain Phase 2 Clone Trooper. And finally, for the Black Series here, we, of course, have a B1 Battle Droid and Cad Bane with Toto 360. Everyone knows I love my model kits here, so we've got the Bandai Phase 2 Clone Trooper model kit and the Scarif Stormtrooper Captain. And last but not least, of course, the SH Figure Arts Tank Commander and the Mafex First Order Stormtrooper here. And so there you have it. There was my review for the brand new Deluxe Wrecker figure from Star Wars The Black Series. Is it perfect? No, but is it a damn great figure? Absolutely. Definitely could have used those alternate hands and a few more paint app details, but otherwise I am totally happy with how this figure turned out. Wrecker has a great shelf presence, seems to be the right scale there, and all the details that you need are present on the figure. So yeah, this one is a definite pickup. Of course, if you're collecting any of the Bad Batch figures, you can't skip Wrecker. He's an essential member of the team. So let's keep these awesome Bad Batch figures coming. I know tech has been floating around out there, haven't been able to find one yet, but again, that also looks like a pretty fantastic figure with some minor nitpicks. But yeah, there you go. That is my review for Wrecker. I would definitely recommend picking this figure up. It is awesome. So if you enjoyed my review, don't forget to leave a like here. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. We're always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here. Of course, I'm Nate from Out of the Basement. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.